Hey guys, Gavin Magic back again. Another Glint Store Buy video today. And then also I want to talk about uh, the opportunity now with being able to uh, unbind your Soulbound cards and sell them on the market. So I think there's a, a good opportunity there. So I'll talk about that in a minute, but for right now, let's go ahead and do the Glint Store Buy. Um, haven't had as much time to play, so I didn't really get any um, Glint for my third account. Uh, so this is my $10 account. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to get uh, two rares. And then move on to the main account. Um, I did actually unbind a couple of cards on this account and sold them. Oh, awesome. Commander Slade. That might be the one I need to level it to two. So I had an extra copy of uh, Arcane Weaver. So I had an extra copy of that, so I went ahead and I sold that one. And then I had a common. I just wanted to try out the marketplace, so I had one extra copy of uh, this one, the Earth Thug, and listed it for 15 cents, and it turned around and sold it within, like, I think 10 seconds. It was, like, almost an instant sale. Uh, Commander Slade, there we go. So got enough to get him to level 2. Wanted that for quite a while because not only does he get plus one speed, he also gets plus one health. So love that card. But yeah, now I'm kind of torn between I do want to still level my cards, but especially with my lower level accounts, um, like once I get my all my rares to two, I'm pretty much set. Because, I mean, I could get them to level three. Um, I'll have to go by one by one and see if they get like a specific skill at three. Like the Arborist, I want to get to three because I want that Reflection Shield, the Magic Reflect. But just being able to sell the cards now is just, you know, I, I just think it's a really good opportunity. Um, let's look real quick on the Marketplace. So as you can see, um, these are the rares that are listed for sale right now. Um, they're in the $0.40 cent range for the rares up to $59. Um, currently, to unlock a card would cost you, I think it's just under $0.30. Cents. To unlock it um, for a rare it's uh, 20 DEC times the 20 multiplier so you're looking at 400 DEC and DEC is not quite 80% um, a peg so let's just say it was 80% a peg that would cost you 32 cents to unlock the card so even with fees and that you know if you if you can sell it for like 50 cents you know you're doing pretty good so uh, let's go ahead and go over to my main account after we collect the SPS. But yeah, that's kind of the question I think a lot of players are at right now is, you know, do I want to unbind my cards and sell them uh, to get a little bit of funds, get some DEC? Or do I want to just continue getting cards and uh, growing my deck? Okay, so we got 4,700 SPS here. Yeah, it's going to be easier, like I said, for me on my low-level accounts. Because once I get my commons to three and my rares to two, you know, it's pretty much okay. I might as well just uh, sell the cards I have now um, that I earn, get the DEC, and then maybe use that DEC when I build up enough of it <clears throat> to buy the gold foil version and then sell the regular foil. I think that might be my plan. Uh, okay, before we do that, let's go to the shop. So I've got just 2,100 glint here. And let's get, I think I'm just short of three, so let's get two rares. The rest will pick up some commons. The gold foil cards I know are selling very well, or the price looks very good. Whether they're selling at that price, I'm not sure. But even for a gold foil common, I think they're going for at least $3. But they're just so hard to get. Okay, so we got two rares. Uh, 639, so I've got enough for four commons. And I don't believe in using the potions for uh, doubling the chance to go from 2% to 4% it really is not worth it. So there's our four commons. Okay, <clears throat> so let's sort by, let's look at our rares. Okay, legionary, so that's the one I needed to get to level 3. So he gets one more health. 
This card is so huge when it hits level 2 and gets thorns. I play this in the back, so if I come up against Catrulba and it hits that thorns, you know, it ends up killing itself. So this, this card will definitely save me. Okay, so that one is leveled to 3. That's good. So, yep, getting close on a lot of these. So, yeah, I think once I hit 3 with all these, I mean, eventually I like to get them to 4 and 5. But, you know, at least for now, you know, after they hit level 3, I think I'm going to start uh, listing them and putting them on the marketplace. Okay, then for commons. So, I need 4 more evokers to get that to level 5. I don't think anything else is really close. So, I'm hitting level 4s with most of these. But yeah, let's take a look at the market. And let's sort by price. So the commons, uh, currently to unlock a card, it's 100 DEC, which is about 7.8 cents. So let's just round it up to 8 cents. So if you can sell these for around 14, 15 cents, you know, you're, you're going to make, even after fees, you're going to make about 5 or 6 cents per card. I mean, even this demon selling at 12, you know, he's probably going to make three and a half cents, you know, which may not sound like a lot. But, you know, with there not being very many on the market, if you can sell, you know, five, 10, 15 of these, you know, it starts to add up. And then if you want to eventually get the gold foil versions, you know, there's not, well, there's more listed than just a few minutes ago. But the gold foils are still selling, you know, at least, you know, three dollars up to you know, $6 asking price. And I'm sure these are going to come down as more and more are listed. But I would think the floor will probably be uh, maybe 250 would be the floor for these. I've got to look into what is the cost for these to unbind them. So it's 125 power. So that would be 2500 Yeah, so that would be $2.50 to unlock this card if DEC is at peg. So with DEC being, like I said, at like 80% a peg, you could probably sell it for 250 or maybe slightly under and make a few cents. The thing is, you don't want to sell it too cheap. Otherwise, you know, what's the point to sell, you know, a good gold foil just to make five or 10 cents. But, you know, then again, if you could, you know, sell it for 275 to $3 and end up making, you know, 50, 60 cents a card, you know, maybe it'll be worth it. Uh, for me personally, like I said, I don't, I'm not going to sell any gold foils. I want to get as many gold foils as I can. Um, and I may be, you know, just selling all the regular foils, you know, if I have to sell 15, 20, 25 of these to save up to get a gold foil, you know, that's definitely something I'm going to look into doing because these are easy to get, you know, to get 150 glint, you know, to get a common card, you know, at least for me and my, um, my main account is like, I can get maybe two or three, uh, common draws per win. And of course, people that are playing in Di diamond and champion that are getting, you know, a thousand or more glint, you know, you're looking at, you can get seven, eight commons per win. Okay. Seven, eight commons per win. You're going to get at least what, three and a half cents. If you, even if you sell it at 12, you're looking at basically you're, you can turn one win in your thousand plus glint into 25 cents. So think about that. You win a batch, you get a thousand glint, you go to the store, um, you spend your glint, you get, um, let's say you get 1,050 glint, so you can get seven commons. You turn around, you unlock those seven commons, sell them for 12, 13 cents, which they'll probably sell at, you know, make your three and a half cents, you know, you just made a quarter, you know, and just repeat that over and over and over again. So I think this is a great opportunity, at least for now. Um, the nice thing about having that 20x multiplier as well is you've kind of set a floor price. I mean, these cards cannot go to like seven, eight cents. It just does not make you know any sense at that point because you'd be breaking even or losing when you figure in the fees. So it's just a question of how long is it going to be before these go you know closer to the uh, the burn rate and you know where there's no profit available. But you know don't overlook the fact of making only two or three cents um, on some of these cards. Like I said, for the commons it'll be you know lower of course when you get to the rares if you can sell the rares for. 40 to 50 cents. I mean, 50 cents would be great. It's only going to cost you 30 cents to unlock it. So you're going to make probably 18 cents after fees. So don't overlook the power of being able to unlock and sell these cards. So I want to go more depth into it when I get um, some more time, you know, throw up a chart, do some numbers, all that fun stuff for everybody that loves uh, all the numbers. But 
Um, just wanted to let you guys know after Sound did a video on this earlier today that you know this is a great opportunity uh, not only just to make a little bit of money selling these cards remember as well when you do unlock these cards that DEC gets burnt so if we can get the community to start you know unlocking these cards selling them putting them on the market I mean all these cards you see on the marketplace have burned a lot of DEC and that's just going to help the flywheel that's going to help DEC go up and that's going to turn around and just you know get the flywheel going so hope you guys found this uh, useful let me get your feedback are you planning on unlocking any cards now that you can have you sold any cards um, have you bought any cards now that you're able to uh, you know specifically target you know certain cards that you want to buy you know like commander slade it's like hey i can go to the market now and buy them so let me know your feedback and like i said i'll do a video on this um probably sometime in the next couple of days maybe this weekend i want to get more in depth into uh what i think is just a fantastic uh, uh new new ability that we have in splinterlands to to sell these new soulbound cards so stay tuned for that in the coming days as always stay the course keep on forging have fun I'll see you soon. Take care.